Good morning, little spirits. It is Sunday, July the 25th. It's the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time. I'm so excited to share with you today's Gospels, and I hope that you've had a wonderful week, and we're going to spend a few minutes together to talk about a miracle that Jesus did. Wow, it is so amazing. So let us get started. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Okay, well, boys and girls, I have to ask you, do you ever get hungry? Raise your hand if you get hungry. How about first thing in the morning? Do you feel hungry? How about around lunchtime after you've been maybe at school all day or you've been outside playing who feels hungry and how about later on in the day even though you've had two meals do you get hungry and maybe sometimes even after supper you feel a little hungry and you want a snack right sometimes we eat like four times a day and that's good because we need to feed our bodies right well if we go a long time without eating, how do we feel? We don't feel very good. We get so hungry that sometimes we get, right, sometimes we even get pain. We can get moody. We can um, not feel good. We can get a headache. Like if we don't eat, right? Not good to not eat. We don't feel good. And we don't have energy to do things. You don't want to play anymore because you're so hungry, right? Well, in today's gospel, some people followed Jesus. And they were very, very far away from anywhere to get food. And you know what? There was a lot of people. We know that your family has a few people, maybe three, four, five people. Well, there wasn't just like five or six people and there wasn't just like a hundred people and there wasn't just like a thousand people there was five thousand people that's a lot of people that's like if we take our church and we jammed it packed with people 10 times 12 times over that's how many people or even more maybe 20 times yeah, more like 20 times. Can you imagine? That's a lot, a lot, a lot of people. And they had no food. But you know what? Jesus got them food. So let's see how Jesus did that. All right. So it is July the 25th. And it's the 17th Sunday. So the gospel today is from John. Remember, there's four gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. So, Jesus went to the other side of the Sea of Galilee, also called the Sea of Tiberias. A large crowd kept following him because they saw the signs that he was doing for the sick. Jesus went up the mountain and sat down there with his disciples. Now the Passover, the festival of the Jews, was near. Remember the Passover is what happened just before Jesus parted the Red Sea and let Moses and all the Jewish people out of Egypt, right? And when he looked up, he saw a large crowd coming toward him. Jesus said to Philip, Where are we to buy bread for these people to eat? And he said this to test him. For he himself knew what he was going to do. Philip answered him, six months wages would not buy enough bread for each of them to get a little. And one of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to Jesus, there's a boy here. I don't know if you can see my picture. There's a boy here who has five barley loaves. Now, barley is a cheaper grain than wheat. So this is a very cheap bread. And this boy has five loaves of bread 
and two fish. Do you think that's going to feed 5,000 people? Do you think that would even feed 100 people? Do you think that would even feed 50 people? Do you think that would feed even 20 people? No way it would feed that many people. So what does Jesus do? He made the people sit down, right? He made all the people sit down. And now there was a great deal of grass in the place. So they sat down about 5,000 all. Then Jesus took the five loaves and when he had given thanks to God the Father, he distributed them to those who were seated. So also the fish, and as much as they wanted. So he took the five loaves of bread and the two fish and thanked God the Father. That isn't very much food, is it? Five loaves of bread and two fish. And all of a sudden, there's baskets and baskets and baskets of food. And let's see what happens. When they were satisfied, in other words, when everyone was full, okay, they were full. They just didn't have like a nibble of bread. They had a lot of bread and a lot of fish. Jesus said to his disciples, gather up the fragments left over so that nothing may be lost. And they gathered them up, and from the fragments of the five barley loaves and left, those who had eaten, they filled 12 baskets. So after everybody had more than they needed, they were very full, there was 12 baskets of food. That's more than what we started with, isn't it? And when the people saw the signs he had done, they began to say, This is indeed the prophet who is to come into the world. When Jesus realized that they were about to come and take him and force him to make him king, he withdrew again to the mountain by himself. Jesus realized that now they like see he's the Messiah. He's the one they've been waiting for for a long time. And they're probably going to try to capture him and make him king. But that's not what, that's not what the plan is, right? And so he snuck away. He snuck away from these people. So I'm going to bring these pictures here so you can have a closer look. Okay? So the first picture, right, is the boy with the five loaves. And they've got 5,000 people to feed, right? That's a lot of people to feed. And Jesus blesses them, right? And he takes the five loaves and the two fish. Suddenly there's baskets and baskets of food. And there is so much food for everybody, for all the 5,000. In fact, at the end, when everybody's full, when Jesus tells them to collect, there's 12 big baskets of both bread and fish. Boys and girls, have a wonderful week. We look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.